Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne, and we have now got issue 85 of Eagle Boss's Build the DeLorean. And please, to all my uh, English viewers, please bear with me 30 seconds while I make do good on a promise. Uh, willkommen ich meinem Kanal, um, willkommen ich meinem Welt, uh, <laughs> this is the world of Wayne, Welt von Wayne. Einen großen Danke schon an all mein Deutschen Schuauer. I'm trying, I'm trying. Das kleine Deutsch von dem ich sprechen kommst aus der Sitz als ich der Lindwurmstraße in München. Uh, war um die Blockbuster Video uh, geschlossen. Uh, but uh, wie geht es dir? I tried. Uh, that was just my German viewers. I, I tried to do some introduction there. I don't know if my German's any good, so uh, it's been a long time. <laughs> I hope that made some sort of sense. Uh, anyway, issue 85, what we got to do in that? Uh, basically, we're going to complete the surround that we built last time this here and we're going to be installed it in the car and thank you to Nigel Watson who was the first to notice in the last issue that I put the little water tank there upside down isn't that absolutely typical and uh, as I mentioned to uh, one of my other regular viewers Vince down in Tasmania there normally when things go wrong it's normally after I've just said this is an easy part Ghost figure. So let's hope I don't make any mistakes in this one but look all the bits we got here uh, look, this bit is metal just so you know, uh, we've got the plastic bit, we've got some BP screws, DM screws, AP screws, and we've got some lights there. I'll just show you what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're just basically going to be putting the light into the back section there, attaching this to make the frame complete there. And then last but not least, we're going to be putting that into the vehicle. Really exciting. It's what we've been working up to. Uh, so let's get cracking on this straight away. Step one, all we're going to be doing is taking this little black part here and the light section and just putting that together. I'm just seeing if there is a way around it goes. Uh, in the magazine, they're putting it in so that this there is a little lip. I don't know if you can see that on there. There's a little lip around it. They're putting it in so that the, the light's on the flat part because that isn't on the flat part there. So they're putting it in just like that. That was step one. And step two, we're going to be putting this onto this uh, uh, plastic per frame here. Uh, again, the way around that they've got this going, they're holding it this way. This is just going to be going into these little holes just at the top there. Uh, so this is going to be going in just like that. And it's going to be secured in from the other side here with two lots of AP screws. Of course, it's going to be AP screws. Once again, uh, they provided the screws, which I really, really like Eagle Moss doing, because to be honest with you, I don't think I've gone to my backlog of screws I've got. I haven't had to, uh, oh God, I haven't had to uh, break them open. So uh, that's a good sign, isn't it? Not having to do that. Let's make sure I put this in the right way again. There we go. And then this is going on just like that. And we'll get this secured in with an AP screw. So I've put one in just really lightly before I put the second one in. I'm guessing this will light up because as you can see, there's a hole in there for perhaps a little LED or something. It's labeled as a, an engine light. So I'm guessing that, uh, yeah, that will light up eventually. I'm not sure how it's gonna light up though. I'm guessing once the headlights are turned on, it will probably turn on with the headlights. Uh, but that, I'm just giving this a little bit of a tighten up. There we go. That's the engine lighting, looking just like that. Pretty cool. Uh, that was step uh, three done. Now step four, we're gonna be attaching this to the frame that we did last time. That's looking just like that there. Uh, obviously it's gonna be going on this side here and we need to make sure that we put it on the right way. Cause I've got a habit of putting it on the wrong way, but this is basically gonna be going, it's gonna be going on here just like that with the engine light at the top. Now you've got these little holes here and here to put this into. So that's gonna help you line it up. But it's going to be secured two ways. It's going to be secured. Oh, let's get this last one in. That's being fiddly. There we go. It's going to be secured at this side here, and then it's going to be secured underneath. So the first thing it wants me to put in is the screws that are going in this side here. I'm just going to put that gently down uh, because we're going to be securing these in with BP screws. There's four of these, two for each side. So let's get these in. 
please feel free to uh, shout at me if I'm making mistakes because uh, if I make a video without mistakes, then something's gone wrong. <laughs> I think I've rounded a screwdriver there, you know, because that one didn't really want to tighten that up very well. But we'll get the other one in. Just putting the two corners in first. As you can see from the top camera. Although that cam that screwdriver has lasted quite a long time. I think I'm going to have to tighten these up with another screwdriver. But I'm going to put these in as tight as I can get them. That's two in. Put the third one in. Now Eagle Moss did send us about, oh, how many issues? About eight issues ago. A high impact screwdriver. So I'm just going to put these in just to start them off. And then I'm going to try the big screwdriver that they gave us in the last issue, just to tighten them up. So last one in here. And there we go. As you can see, all of them are in. All lovely. And that's basically secured that in just from this side. Now we're still going to be securing this in from the underside. As you can see, we've got two little bolts to put in there. And these are DM screws, one in each side. Once again, they provided the DM screws because I believe every other thing that we're going to be doing now is with the DM screws. So once again, I'm just going to put these two screws in. So first one I'll put in this side here. These going absolutely lovely, to be honest with you. So that's the first one in. And then the second one. So all my uh, German viewers, was that okay? <laughs> I hope it was <laughs> but uh, I mean the main thing that I used to say in Munich was Bloss Bosch to Deutschland Gasslossen and uh, Ist der eine Gasthaus in der Nacht that's all I was <laughs> really basically saying uh, but there we go that's fully complete and secure now so once we've done that bit all we've got to do now is put the bulkhead on now the bulkhead this is going to be step 7 is this metal section here uh, again this is going to be going on uh, it can only really go on one way. It's going to be facing the back of the vehicle um, where the capacitors are here. And it's going to be going on sort of like this here because this um, little pipe is actually going to be plugging into it. It's going to be secured from underneath the vehicle. So that means I've got to turn this over underneath the vehicle, like I mean, underneath the engine bay. As you can see, you've got three holes for this to go in. And it gets lined up by these two pins here. So basically hook this middle section over the pins that will line that up for you. And then once that's on, you're ready to start screwing in. There we go, just like that. I'm going to put that down gently because all the secure, uh, screws now, as I said, are DM screws. So let's get these in. Now, I think, just counting how many screws it is, there's one, two, three. I think they put it in with three screws. So, whoops, I've got a, uh, a lead come out here. I don't really want that pinned. There we go. Let's try that again. That's better. And let's get these three screws in. So one, two, three. Here's the first one. These are going in absolutely lovely. I do like the DM screws. I'm just putting these in lightly before I tighten them up completely because I don't want this falling out. That's the second one in. Last but not least, here's the third one. I'm getting excited for the next bit because the next bit we get to actually put all of this finally into the frame of the vehicle, which I have already taken off the car. Uh, oh God, why doesn't this want to sit in properly? Let's get that in properly. There we go. Uh, and I've tied the wires up that you'll see in the next stage just to get this all ready to go. There we go. And as you can see from underneath there, they're all tightened up. So that's what it looks like on top. And that's what it looks like just like that. That is now completed. We are now ready to offer this to the vehicle. So what I'm going to do, put my screws to one side. I'm going to get my dirty mat here, <laughs> which I'm definitely going to need because I'm bringing up the actual frame now. Now the frame, I have put loads of masking tape on so the doors don't fly open when I turn it upside down. Uh, and obviously it's going to be going in this section here. Now step 10 tells you to tidy these wires up so they go in that way. So as you can see, I've batched them together and I've just put a bit of masking tape across there uh, just to hold them in place uh, so I can offer this section to the vehicle. Now, obviously the way it's going to be going is of, uh, with the bulkhead pointing to the back. So when this goes in, not quite sure what they want us to do with the uh, wire that's coming out at the moment, but that's basically going to be sitting in just like this. 
And it can only go in one way because you've got the mounting points. You've got one, two, three mounting points on this side. Uh, three mounting points on this side. Um, God, where else are we screwing this into? <laughs> We're screwing it in loads of places. Let's have a look. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, and apparently there's two at the back as well that we're going to be screwing this into. Uh, I can't see where the are. Oh, and the two at the back's down here. So there's going to be three, six, seven, eight screws to put in here. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> so let's get this started to put in. We'll see what this looks like when it's all connected. First screw I'm going to do over the far side here. Again, I'm not putting them in all the way. I'm putting them in enough just to hold them in. Let's do one on this side. Okay, that's two. Uh, we put one. I'm putting them in all sorts of ways, to be honest with you. One right at the top here. This is number three. Excellent. Let's keep going. Number four. We'll put this one in over here. Get in there. I can't wait to get a picture of this to show you what this looks like. Okay, number five. I'm having to stand up for this one. We've got one over here. Excellent. Number six. Just at the front here. That one's got in fine. Uh, number seven is at the back as I said these little silver ones that you can see I hope you can see this on one of the cameras here uh, I'm just getting on with it <laughs> not really looking at the cameras on this one because this I think this is quite a delicate little uh, job to do this one that's number seven and last but not least number eight in here so what I'm going to do I'll just have a quick cut away while I tighten them up with my other screwdriver. Okay, and as you can see, that is now all on. We're going to turn it back so you can see what that looks like. Oh, how impressive is that? <laughs> Still got this lead coming out now, but that is the engine frame completely in. I'm going to take a picture of that so you can see what that looks like just uh, as I've just put that in there. And I think we can't go on without uh, just putting this on the car to see what it looks like on the car with the engine underneath. There's one other thing that I've still got to do, uh, which I missed out. Step nine is basically just putting this pipe into the bulkhead at the back here. So, yeah, so this basically goes into the bulkhead at the back, which I'll just put in now. And then that attaches into the vehicle just like that. As a matter of fact, it's probably best to show you a picture of this because it's hard to get on camera. Now, I'm not sure how that wire goes, if we have to train it round or if it just goes loose. Uh, I suppose it's entirely up to you, to be honest with you. I'm going to have a play with that, I think, and see uh, the best way that that can go on. But uh, that was that issue. Pretty cool. It's really coming together now. Uh, the next issue, we've got some uh, cross brace, which they're called in the roof interior that we're going to be doing. Look at that. That's coming soon in the next issue. Uh, that will be issue 86. There's going to be a delay next week. I'm not going to be able to do issue 86 for Thursday like I normally do because I'm at the Insomnia Gaming Festival in Birmingham NEC from Thursday to Monday. So if any of you are there, you'll probably see me there because I've got Bring Your Own Computer. I'm going to be there for five days. Uh, other than that, hope you like that video. Take care.